Welcome to the Black House. Welcome to the Block House. Today we are in Hucking Hills, Ohio, the land of beautiful Airbnbs, and this one fits right in there. It's called the Block House because it looks like there's building blocks that make up this home, and it was built and designed by the hosts, and it is a beautiful stay. 1,500 square feet of living space, three bedrooms, two and a half baths, and it can sleep up to eight guests and it is very beautiful on the inside and outside. We are located on 20 acres of private property surrounded by trees. You cannot see a single home or road or anything anywhere around this property. So totally private and that's what I really like. It kind of looks like this place is built out of shipping containers, but it is not. So the inside is gonna be a lot more spacious. There's gonna be a lot of dynamic spaces in here, as you can tell just from the layout of what it looks like on the exterior. The color palette of the exterior is this gray metal on the bottom. You have the white metal up on top, which is the perpendicular piece. And that just leaves some outdoor patio space on each side as well, which is really cool. And the wood accents all around. And even the front door is really cool. But with that being said, the only thing else out here is a Tesla charging port. So you can drive your electric car here, which is really cool. The link to book this place is down in the description. Anyway, let's walk inside and check out how this space is all laid out and what they did with it. Whenever you walk inside, this is the largest area of the home. It is really open. The ceilings go all the way up to the second floor, which makes it feel even more spacious. This right side is the dining area and this left side is your huge kitchen space with the beautiful green cabinets. I love this space a lot. So let's just go over here and check out the kitchen. This kitchen is huge. You got this island right here in the middle with four brown leather seats wrapped all the way around it. I really like this countertop. It is matte and it looks like it's really easy to clean up, which is great. And you got cabinets over here on this other side. And of course, all the cabinets around with the green and you have the gold accents. And with the brown furniture, this is all a really beautiful design. The huge pantry right over here on this left side, you can pull out the drawers as well. Tons of space for the kitchen and they provide a lot of the utensils that you need. You can open all the cabinets all around and check all that out and even on the countertops. They leave a coffee maker, toaster, all of that. And the appliances are my favorite. They are all cafe appliances. You have the gas oven, which is pretty unique to see. I liked using that a lot. And the dishwasher and the fridge, the microwave, it is all beautiful in here. Vertical subway tile for the backsplash and the black sink ties it all in. While we're in the kitchen, it's time to eat. We are eating gluten-free pizza. We're going gluten-free for the time being. Not a fan of it. If you have any good gluten-free recipes of anything, let me know. Let's Especially make- Especially gluten-free pizza. Because <laughs> we have our doubts. Yeah, I don't, I've never had this kind, so we'll see how it tastes. Weston needs a little dinner break as well. <laughs> and some lotion. Yes, you do need some lotion. Oh! Whoa! <laughs> no fingers on the lens, boy. That pizza was surprisingly very, very good, by the way. Now, heading over to this other side is your dining space. An easy walk from the kitchen to your dining table. That can see six people. Fits perfectly right here against these stairs with the shiplap all around it. It's a great spot for it. The door right behind it is locked. That leads down to the basement, but that is for the owners. And then the door over here in this corner is your half bath. Let's check that out. In here is a pretty tight space. The sink right here is one of the smallest sinks I've ever seen, but I really like it. It matches the green all around this entire home. I've never seen a sink like this that is green. Normally they're white and they're pretty popular in tiny houses, but this is a tiny bathroom. So they used it right here. Really cool light fixtures above it. And then down on the side is your toilet and a really cool vanity right above it. And that is your half bath for this floor. Out this door off of the kitchen is one of your patio spaces. There are several on this property. You can walk out here. There is a charcoal grill and a gas grill for you to use. And also a swing, Savannah and Weston loved the swing and as the girls are right off the kitchen that makes it really nice 
Real quick, this video is sponsored by Artlist. If you've ever wondered where I get the music for my videos from, it's Artlist. Artlist is a highly curated, royalty-free music and sound effects platform for anyone who wants to create videos. Literally every single video on my YouTube channel has music from Artlist. I have used them for years. I really love it. Artlist offers unlimited downloads to thousands of songs that are updated daily. There's a ton of ways to search for songs like genre, mood, instrument, BPM, and even similar songs once you find one that you like, which is super helpful. There are two types of licensing, personal and unlimited. With unlimited, you can use the music you download for literally anything and everything, even once your subscription ends. Personal is catered towards social media creators, so you can see which one best fits for you. So for the best music, head to the link down in the description, and if you subscribe, you'll get an extra two free months with your subscription. You'll also find links to Art Grid, which is the revolutionary footage site and motion array. So head to the links down in the description. I really do like Artlist. Anyway, back to the tour. Down this hallway that leads to the back of the home, we walk through your living room space. Brown leather couch on this side, an electric fireplace, and a mantle, and a TV on the other side. And since this is a pretty unconventional floor plan for a home, uh, that leaves for unique spaces, like this living room. And then on the other side, right in front of me, is this huge window that lets you overlook out into the property. Nice small reading chair right here. And you can sit here with your morning coffee, which is exactly what I did, and you can watch the sun rise, which is pretty cool. But I love all the windows in here. And on this right side is the doors that lead out to your patio and hot tub space, which we'll get to in a second. This door at the very end of your living space leads into your first bedroom on this main floor, and it is the smallest out of the three in this entire cabin. It is basically just a bed in here, some small walkways on both sides, there's some lights and windows, the ship lap in here. It looks great, and this connects to this entire hallway on this back side. The unique thing about this entire floor is you can have four rooms in one hallway. What do I mean? Well, you start in this bedroom, we walk through, and this is is your full bathroom you can walk through here you enter into your laundry space then you walk through that and that exits into your kitchen so there's one long hallway in four rooms beat that I think it's pretty cool but the next spot is the full bathroom space the tiling on the floor bleeds right into the living room and it looks really cool the tiling all around in here looks fantastic actually I believe there's four different types of tiling in this entire bathroom you got the floor you got this tile behind the vanity you might think that is wood but it is actually tile and it looks great then you have the tile in the shower which is black and then the tile all around the soaking tub which is white so all of this combined looks amazing you gotta have a bathtub in these getaways I think and this one looks fantastic I love the clawfoot tub look and then on the other side you have a double vanity which is nice to have for all the guests that are gonna be here and this all looks beautiful and bright I like it I like this bathroom a lot then we can walk out of this and this is your laundry room it's nice to have a whole room for your laundry needs there's lots of shelves on this side and of course your washer and dryer on this right side start crawling you're so close like this you can do it not like this <laughs> now let's walk up the steps off the kitchen and into the upstairs up here in the upstairs is your two main bedrooms plus another full bathroom. It's very spacious and bright up here. Lots of windows. You can even come over here to the railing and overlook into the kitchen space, which is really cool. This could be converted into an awesome hangout spot just because there is a lot of space. But if you're having a lot of guests here, the space is nice for all the foot traffic that would happen up here in this upper level. Uh, this is also where you can exit into your rooftop patio, which is really cool. We'll get to that in a second. First, let's check out this bedroom back here. one of the larger bedrooms which I liked it a lot the bed right here in the middle beautiful shiplap on this wall with some hanging lights in the windows it is a perfect setup but the really cool thing is this bunk bed right over here you can climb this ladder and you have an additional bed in here to sleep more guests and then underneath the bunk bed is a really spacious closet open up these sliding doors 
and you can walk in here. So close. I'm like two inches off from being able to walk in here perfectly. Mana is short enough. She can walk in and out of this huge closet, which is really cool. You can put your luggage in there, hang all your clothes in there. There's even an AC and heating unit in here for the perfect temperature. <laughs> Kitchen's over here. Behind this door is another full bathroom. In here, the tiling is really, really cool. The floor tiling is this beautiful hexagon and it bleeds out into the hallway space just like the one downstairs. And you have the green tiling that takes up this entire wall, the backsplash for the vanity. The vanity is this wood with a nice white countertop with gold accents. It's a double vanity. On this other side, you have your tiled walk-in shower. And that is a nice subway tile with black grout. So there's three different tiles going on in this bathroom and it looks really cool. But now let's walk out of that and into the last bedroom down this hallway. This bedroom might be my favorite. It is very similar to the other bedroom on this floor with the layout and there's even another bunk bed in here. But this one has a huge window right here to my right. I mean, it is taller than I am and you got a really good view of just the nature all around. The trees literally come up to the window so you can sleep right in this bed and overlook the trees and nature, which is really cool. Yeah, the bed is on this right side, so it is basically the same layout, but this one has a huge window that you can wake up to and look at the foot of your bed, which is really cool. Now let's check out all of the outdoor spaces. But if you go back to the living room, not the sliding door, this is one of your main outdoor space areas. You can walk out here and you have an eight person hot tub out here surrounded by nature. You also have a outdoor shower over here, which is pretty cool. And we can walk around and there's an outdoor dining set around this corner. If we walk back around here, the spiral staircase leads to your upper rooftop deck. So let's walk up that and check that out. Up here is a huge space. You have some more seating options out here. There is a gas fireplace right here in the middle. So those cold nights, or if you just want to sit out here and relax, this is awesome to have. And then a couple more chairs at the very end over here. This overlooks your property and the views up here are beautiful. You can overlook your fire pit area, which if you walk back down, you can walk down the path and you have an entire fire pit area out here. And also there is a huge trail right here. This is 20 acres of property and there are walking trails on the property, which is really cool. So there is a lot to explore outside, three different deck spaces, and of course, all of the property. That is everything you get here at the Block House in Hawking Hills, Ohio. The booking links are down in the description below. I highly suggest checking that out if you ever want to come stay here at this beautiful, beautiful cabin. Next week's video is going to be a little bit different and it's really exciting. So I will see you guys next week.